the reason we come to something like IREC is there's nothing else that compares to the convening authority of IREC to bring all the world's leading experts in renewable energy, not just ideas and policy, but also implementation and enablement. It's this perfect combination of private and public sector information sharing you just can't find anywhere else. If you're on your own, sitting in a little island, autarkic, and trying to develop your own thing and learning by making errors, it's going to be a much slower process than if you get together and you discuss what has happened in other places, where have been the best case scenarios, and how do we have a learning process that everybody can benefit from. We in the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum is committed to ensuring access to clean energy to all citizens by the year 2020. This will be done through both grid extension and sustainable off-grid solutions. In order to get the ecosystem right, all of these actors need to work together and, and IRAC is a, an excellent platform for that. A forum like this where we are sharing experiences of what is happening in Latin America, how do they address challenges, which in most cases will be very similar in our situation. This is an opportunity for you to know what is new, what is attainable. I've met here, for example, people who are going to help me with my metering systems. So these are opportunities that I think are important with these conferences. Rather than waiting 10 years for a coal-fired plant, today we can actually provide health, education, livelihoods and well-being in the most sustainable manner to individual families around the world. So they don't need to wait. We're seeing in more and more countries, even including advanced countries, that decentralized modular systems are turning energy consumers into energy producers. This brings so many more people who are currently in rural areas do not have access to modern energy services into the modern economy. The technological solutions exist. The business case exists. What we need is a regulatory framework that empowers people to invest in this as a business. What we need right now is this consistent focus and drive and policy and commitment. If financing in an affordable cost is available and the technology is available, then it will grow faster. Two things that are very critical for off-grid to take off in many of the rural areas. One is access to finance, affordable finance for entrepreneurs and end users. And second is to create a mass scale of human resources across these countries train our people to have a high level technical people qualified that they can install, maintain. I think the most important takeaway for me is really the dynamism that is there in this sector. It's, it's incredible, uh, it's remarkable how much has happened over a very short kind of time span. We're seeing some very exciting and interesting examples of innovation that are happening in developing country markets. I mean you're setting the stage for that have nots in the world to be part of the formal population in this world and not wait for anything else to happen. And you create a framework for growth and investment that is probably one of the single uh, most effective ways for us to reach the sustainable development goals.